There's a lot of confusion today amongst farmers about antifreeze, and it's actually supposed to be called coolant. I'm Ray Bohax, a successful farming engine man, and I'm over in Columbia, Ohio at the Firestone Test Farm, and we're gonna be discussing antifreeze. So this is basically gonna be our coolant. I have to correct myself because I'm so used to saying it incorrectly. Is that what I need to explain to you today, it's just like with crop production, it's not like it was years ago. When grandpa and dad farmed, antifreeze was green. Today there's all different colors. And there's a reason why they're different colors. This bottle I have here for an example is what is called orange antifreeze. So there's orange, there's traditional green, there's gold or some people call it yellow, and there's also red. What you need to know as a farmer is two simple things. Number one, do not re-engineer the cooling system if the manufacturer tells you to use an orange product or a green product or a, or a red product, use it, use what they tell you. It doesn't necessarily have to be their brand, but it has to be the chemical composition. And then the other thing is that you, what you have to understand is that antifreeze wears out. Engine coolant wears out. Its ability to freeze does not change unless it gets diluted with water, but the chemical additive package that actually make it a proper coolant is what becomes dissipated. And when it becomes dissipated, you end up having corrosion and electrolysis in the engine. So to recap, number one, use the proper coolant. If you have different, most farms have all different types of equipment and you say, I wanna buy one product, well, that's a compromise. You don't really want to compromise the cooling systems on your engines because when they go bad, they cost a lot of money. Now the other thing to keep in mind is that there are ethylene glycol based antifreezes and propylene glycol based antifreeze coolant. If you have an ethylene glycol based antifreeze, you could check its freeze protection with a hydrometer like this. But the best way to check freeze protection on any antifreeze is to, is to use a refractometer and the refractometer needs to be calibrated for either propylene glycol or ethylene glycol. Now keep in mind that the freeze point has nothing to do with the concentration of the additive package and that is why it's imperative that you service the cooling systems on all of your engines and that's usually a time, miles or hour criteria. And the other thing I want to touch on briefly here is that it is very important to have a solid mass of liquid in any engine for the cooling system and you have to bleed the air out. The best way and the most efficient way to bleed, I love this tool, it's a radiator fill kit. It's by Lyle Company and you could look it up, it's only about $20 or $25. You put this onto the radiator, you run the engine, you fill up the coolant through here, it allows all the air to bubble out the system to be one solid mass of coolant and everything will be, will be perfect with no spillage on the ground. So listen, you have a blessed day and make sure you change that antifreeze and use the proper product. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video and click here to see more great videos.